bolster the both of ours. I think our stream's down. No! Don't Let shoot me down. Oh. Woo. oh. We're back. We're back, refresh. yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the perfect moment for that to interrupt. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm not going to do that in character again because I can't. So <laughs> I only got so, right. much, so much in me. <laughs> so in case, they, in case they got missed, Daphne patted uh, Mildred's hands, folded her own hands in front of her, leaned back in her chair, crossed her legs, and said, um, um, and said, uh, what can we what can we do to bolster each other's operations? I'm glad you think the way I do about this. It's best if we work together. There are things happening in Juno that require both of our attentions outside of simple drug trade. Yes. Um I'm glad you mentioned that because, and I'm going to gesture at Peter. <laughs> Peter. What, is, what is Peter doing right now? I am. I am. I am basically. <laughs> You're third wheeling. Yeah, the... I am third wheeling. I'm standing like on a wall, very close, just arms crossed, staring at both of them. As an aside, Kay is doing the same thing on the opposite. <laughs> like, oh, and I bet Tori is like behind. Mildred, just like, <laughs> yep, <clears throat> for like Fred's... the triangle of like cross arms, like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yes, yes, Daphne. Um, you mentioned something about the wizard that we should be worried about. The wizard, yeah, there's probably a couple wizards in town we should be worried about. Well, is this wizard going to interfere with either of our operations? Of course he is. Well, M Mildred, when I turn away from Peter, is this an opportunity for us to work together to eliminate an outside threat? I would like to believe so. But there is that small matter of us stepping on each other's toes in our day-to-days. Well, I want to sell opium. What do you want to sell? She kind of gives you a look. Thinks for a moment. <sighs> All of it. Well, you see, I am not interested in all of it, but here is what I can do for you. I have my parties on a somewhat regular basis. I invite all kinds of people here. And certainly I can introduce your product into my parties. And that would result in you getting new clientele. And then you don't have to worry about feeling threatened by my small business here. Are you sure you don't want to work more closely together? Oh, Mildred. What did you have in mind? We have quite the operation in town, and let's be honest, we're a f much further reaching operation. Why not set your sights a little higher than Juno? Tell me more. We work together to solve this little problem here, and you come work with me, not for me. That would be No, I would never improper. work for anyone but myself. I'm glad you understand that. But just run the opium division of our operation 
you could be based here, but there's so much more of this wonderful winter state of ours. Well, you see, Mildred, the reason that I am interested in Juno in particular is because this is their political capital. You don't need to travel elsewhere when you can become involved with their leaders. True. Just saying, just I'm something to think about. You're not interested. <sighs> this is unfortunate. Not interested in what? Peter, you're not the part of this deal making. You want to be manifested at this dinner, body, flesh, and soul, I'm here. Yes, you are. That's all I asked of you, though. Anyways, if... Mildred, I'm sorry. Ignore him. He's very grumpy. And what did I ask of you? <laughs> <laughs> Mildred, I don't know if you know this about Peter, but I think he's been playing both sides of the field. Oh. I figured as much, but... We don't need Peter. I hope you re realize that. I know, but if you're not going to work with me, I do need allies in our current situation. Tori here has enlightened me on so much that is going on, but... Oh? Let's just say she has an in with some of the more brutish activities in the city. I'm going to look over at Tori. Um, I'm going to look back at Mildred, lean forward, and go to see if I can, like, take her hand. Mm-hmm. Um... She kind of pulls back a little bit. Oh. I'm not disinterested in allying with you. I just don't want to work for you or as a part of a division or set my sights really elsewhere than here. Surely. Go ahead. No, you go. I was going to say, she cuts you off, I guess. Um, if ambition isn't your goal, then I can work with that. I just smile and she and she gives a little underhanded insult and I don't respond to it otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, and she's going to put her hand back out now and reach for yours. Do you let her touch you? Oh, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> God. <laughs> Just touch your hand. That's all. That's all I meant. <laughs> Just to do some fucking Oracle shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and I'll place my hand on top of hers and start like caressing it gently. Okay. Um, um yeah, uh, you're starting to feel comfortable. What do you mean by you're comfortable? Really at home. You feel happy in Mildred's presence. You feel at peace. She says, this is the way I could make you feel all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I don't mind that. Just... 
play it by ear, and we'll make Juno a better place for both of us. Do I have your word on that, my dear? Anything for you, Mildred. She gives you a big smile and... Uh, you feel good. That fullness, that sort of weight that was there from feeding on Benji is just gone. As like this light from her hand kind of caresses you and just, you feel good, but you don't feel overly full. Okay. Yep. So, um, she says, and if that concludes our business, my dear, I think it sounds, I would love to experience that happy house bacchanalia you offered. Well, this is, uh, an informal one, but the formal ones are very good. And I'm just gonna clap my hands and then some music starts. Okay. Lights lower. <laughs> and it's like it's like Greek music, very danceable. Mm -hmm. Um um yeah, it's just like magic, like lights lower, the ambient lights like come up, this music starts. I'm gonna take the glass of wine and hold it out. To new friends and new deals. She clings and she says, to long-lasting relationships and clinks it and brings it back, brings it to her lips. Um, and then I think with that, we'll let, um, everything's just probably going to spin up into a party. Um, Red, Kay, what are you guys doing? Kay is very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> very much so, I'm sure. They did not know what to expect coming to this place. They still don't really know who Mildred is. Um, and have apparently been in this thing. Um, so like as soon as the, the mood shifts in this, this happy house, uh, Kay's mood does not shift. <laughs> um, Kay is like the most uh on edge wallflower in this entire like party scene um and as soon as like i would i would say maybe like five minutes after the meeting is done uh k is going to um kind of step off to the side maybe sit in one of those like side uh room areas actually yeah, they, i think they'll go over to one of those side room areas and just kind of uh pull back the curtain um and just kind of slink inside so that it's like a closed area um and then uh they're going to text uh their brother um okay and uh they're gonna say um bad shit's about to go down powerful people are doing crazy things need advice <laughs> send <laughs> and don't get a response well shit <laughs> red what well, are you up to from red. there's texts from red coming in India <laughs> oh are there <laughs> seven oh, texts all of them terribly like yeah and if you if you look at red he's got his hand in his pocket and he's just tight you can see the light coming out of out of his jacket pocket as he's trying to text blindly and finally one text comes through just body closet <laughs> and red's looked pale as a ghost this whole time and you've seen pale his, as a peter his, <laughs> pale as a peter <laughs> And it, and you've seen the flask coming out quite a bit because he is not drinking any of the wine being served here. Okay. Peter, what are you up to? Uh, I am going straight to Daphne. Okay. What the hell was that? I'm still at the table. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit. What the hell was that? 
I look at Mildred. Mildred, I'll excuse myself for a moment. Do that. She goes over to Tori. We'll get to that in a second, but. I'm going to put my wine glass down. Stand up. Right in front of Peter. Cross my arms in front of my chest. What? You owed me. I called it a debt. What do you think I did? We're supposed to work together. We are? Is that what you call working together? What would you have preferred the outcome to be, Peter? I don't know. Maybe the next time I speak up in a meeting, you don't, you don't tell me you're not part of this. You that, weren't. If I'm not part of this, then the debt I called in doesn't matter. You're refusing to honor it. <laughs> Am I part of this or not? Are we working together or not? You think very highly of yourself, Peter. I got these people here, didn't I? I got you the information on Mildred, didn't I? I didn't need you to. I got the meeting with Mildred. Are we in this together or not? I don't care what you think of me or how much you think of me, that I think of myself. I'm getting shit done. Peter, you are in my house. I have ways of finding out things. Like your... any loved ones you might have left behind. I wonder how they might taste. So, I recommend you watch your tone I am keeping up my end of the deal. But when I make negotiations, I make them. You do not. If we are going to be a partnership, if we are going to rule this town and anywhere else together, that is not how this is going to work. And by the way, Threaten my husband. Go after him. In any oh, way. you have a husband. Everyone knows that. And it's a matter of public record in Juno. <laughs> and I will burn your inn and everything you love dear to the ground. I think at this point, Mildred has like kind of stepped away, but then saw this tension build. And she's going to step in and kind of like put a hand to both of your chests. And you both, because you're both corporeal at this point, right, Peter? Yeah. You both feel yourselves sort of calm for a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to enjoy myself at the party with my new friend, Milfred. This is something I think we can all work together on. Tori, um, would you join us? And um, I guess the other two are involved as well. Where did the, um, the brooding one go? And she's kind of looking around for Kay. She's going to look at Red and be like, Red, can you find your friend, please? I think we all need to have a conversation since we're all together at this moment. That's what I Yeah, want. I'll, I'll, I'll get him. I'm going to cast a, like a kind of a lingering look on Peter and uh, we'll go looking for Kay. Okay. Not hard to find. They, they're in like the first den off of the, the sort of main area. Yeah, as soon as Kay sees Red... Uh, because of those texts that came through, yep. yep. Uh, Kay is going to like, I imagine that Red, like, kind of is walking past, like, close to this little, like, uh, side room, and they just see an arm grab Red and pull them in, and then close the curtain, uh, and turn around and say, Excuse me, yeah, found what the happy place was, and uh, then she's in there. Okay. This is a little out of my league. Yeah, yeah, yep. I would certainly say so. 
Okay. And I think uh, the vampire one just threatened Peter's husband, which, uh, knowing Peter, he's not going to take that very well. And he holds grudges. Yeah. Well, you see, here's the whole, here's the, here's the thing, Red. Um, I don't like any of this at all. None of it. Zero percent. Um, I didn't realize how important these two people actually were. Uh, and I honestly have no idea what to do. So, um. We were invited back and I don't think that's an invitation we're supposed to walk out on uh Kay is gonna check their phone to see if there's any sort of texts from xavier at all nope Shh. okay so okay. do you know anything about about the uh the, the the new one the bodyguard of of mildred uh, i i know she, she pulled me out of a bind kind of like you've done in the past but i don't know anything about her but uh i don't think I, so I don't know what she is. I just know she's scary beyond all reason. <laughs> yeah, she's uh she's a real buttercup that one. So, let's go back. Let's keep her cool. And if things go bad, we make a run for it. Oh, no. I won't run if things go bad. I will do something else. But, you know, you definitely should run. Okay. Uh, and then so head back. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go out of the curtain and, and head towards the important people. The grown-ups, okay. as it were. <laughs> Mildred kind of it, like does that like whole like thank you for joining us hand movement. Sort of like gives like an opening move. Well, since we're all here, um not familiar with you, but if you're in the confidence of at least someone here, it seems you have a part to play as well. Now, I've told Peter of this, but there are machinations happening in Juno that require the attention of multiple parties. Red, you're involved in this as well. As you know, with this wizard, you've been... <sighs> pretty much forced to find the one you were seeking information about. You said you'd get me a meeting with them, and I hope you'll keep up that end. I will. I'm just pulling strings at the moment. Um, Daphne, you have influence and power here in town, and I hope that we can work together to thwart the larger movements. Um, Peter is just Peter and has his hands in it. I'm always listening. And I'm always yes, saying. we know, Peter. It's quite creepy. <laughs> um, Tori here has been so kind to keep me in the know with her organization. Um, I'd rather not reveal her source if mm, she doesn't do, wish it. I do think, though, for the benefit of everyone involved, it would be very advantageous to know where all parties are coming from. I was actually going to ask you the same, so Tori, if you wouldn't mind, my dear, inform them of who and just what you are. Tori looks K, okay. Just <laughs> up and down, nice and slow. K does not even Blake. <laughs> Could we at least start with names or something? Hmm. What's yours? I... Oh, you don't know it? Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought uh, since you knew everything, uh, you would probably know it by now. Tori. Regardless of what I know, I asked you a question. I'm interested to see how you answer it. Hmm. My name is Kay Belton of the Belton family line. 
if that means anything to you. I just give a long glance at Mildred to see what what her reaction is. There's a moment of recognition, but she tries to hide it, so. That's all. I'm Tori. And I know things. And you see Tori's eyes just kind of glow for a moment. For reasons. You can probably figure out. Side note, I'm not sure how much Mildred wants me to reveal right now. She's kind of doing that hand thing, like coaxing you on. Cool. You're a you're a part of this. <laughs> you can be forthright with our new friends. And she glances around the room. Is there a name to the organization that I would know? Uh, like your group? I mean, it's your pack, so whatever you want to call it. So. Uh, I don't know if I have a name for it. Uh. I'll think about that. It's probably okay. it's probably something like slightly kitschy but also menacing. <laughs> of course. I'd like to try and figure figure Tori out. Okay. Yeah, that's a move you can do. Roll with mind. Roll with mind and mind is plus one. Do I Which do anything? Good, that makes it a 10. Nope. So I hold two on you and I can ask two questions. Yep. Yep. So. So, so how, uh, first question is, uh, how could I get your character in my debt? Hmm, okay. Uh, What's something that's like you're you're feeling threatened by that I might be able to help with? Something you're looking for that I might be able to find? Those are some ideas. Right, right, right. So, um, information to be useful to Mildred. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, and... Yeah, any way to make my job for Mildred easier is probably a good way to get into my debt. Conversely, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. And how could I get your character to not outright betray Mildred, but kind of keep secrets from her? Hmm. <laughs> By putting yourself between Tori and Mildred. Not physically Sorry. between Tori and Mildred, but, you know, keeping Tori a step removed from Mildred, if that makes sense. Okay, so if I, so if I could find a way to keep you from getting in trouble with Mildred, you'd give yeah. some information in return? Okay. All right, and that's, that's the information I was interested in. Okay. <laughs> good to know um yeah so what are y'all doing right now well i'll just introduce myself since she asked our names i'm peter poindexter he's very delightful oh. i've noticed um uh, i'm red abernathy uh i'm just just in town on business. I don't live around here. See that you're still alive, at least, though. He has some uh, people watching out for him. Yeah, it's a strange feeling, but I appreciate it.
Well, you all know my name already. It's a pleasure to meet all of you in such festivious Thank occasion. Thank you for having us. I yes. appreciate having kind of been invited. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, if you haven't helped yourself already, if you want a special drink, like a cocktail, let me know. I don't know how to make them, but someone else can make one for you. Um, help yourself to the food. There is so much. And it's all very good. Before we partake, it might be good if we discuss our roles in the upcoming events. What exactly is this event? There are powers moving. Um, Tori's pack is a part of that. Um, they're working with um, a local vampire and his group, um, as well as the, the wizard, uh, Saris Bright. I flinch at that. Is, are Saris and Drug Saruman the same person? I can never remember. Yes, okay. yes they are the yes. same person. But the wizard yeah. that he's looking for is not Saris? Yes. So there are two wizards. Yes, there are Un two wizards. Unnamed wizard and then Drug yes. Saruman badass motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I know it's confusing. Like yeah. Mysterious Gandalf and Drug Saruman. <laughs> yep. Mystery Gandalf. They're perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Perfection. Yeah. So, and untold other forces who Those is are just the ones i know who is the vampire his name is conrad all right go on red has already been requisitioned by these by this group to search out another wizard in town um, but I don't know whether you intend to cooperate with them or, um, adhere to our deal, but, um, I think we can help him further than they can, meaning we're not going to kill him, so. <laughs> Red, like, Red, knocks yeah. over a drink. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> makes just makes it makes it awkward. <laughs> Make it awkward. <laughs> Classic red. Classic red. Tori gives him an amused look. Ooh. Tori here is ever since seeing that body, he's a little drunk. My woman on the inside. Um, Peter is again Peter, and has his hands and everything. Literally. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. I am everywhere. Yes, you know, you're so cool. <laughs> Debbie I, actually I, says I, that while laughing. <laughs> I, I'm Ghost Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but our, uh, what I do not know um, is what Kay can do for us. Miss Belton, I'm aware of your family. role do you want to play? Um, Kay is visibly distracted. Um, and I think anybody who was paying attention would have noticed as soon as Conrad was mentioned that, that they were uh, um like mildly hyperventilating. <clears throat> um, and as soon as uh, she um, kind of addresses them, um, they instantly like kind of plaster on a, a slight smirk. Uh, and uh, look towards Tor with kind of like a slight head, like cock, and say, "That's your messenger dog would have told you." 
Oh. Rude. Mm, I don't think so. Tori is not a dog. But you're acting like a bitch. <laughs> Tori laughs out loud. That was actual laughter from Tori. <laughs> oh. Wow. None of you get along with each other. I don't like all this. Maybe you two. She just points over to like K and Red. This is gonna be great. Red hands K his flask. <laughs> he does not take it. Um, I'm sorry, K. That was out of line. But I don't like all this hostility in in my house. Can we just agree to cooperate? But that, as Mildred said, there are larger forces here at work. I was just trying to inquire and what Kay would like to bring to the table. And I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm uncertain how you refer to yourself. Tori looks Kay up and down long and hard again. <laughs> One eyebrow arched. That is fair. Uh, what I can bring um, is, I believe, an unfair advantage in our uh, our side. Um, Sorry, the cat, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me a good laugh. <laughs> yep. I happen to know Conrad quite well and didn't expect to encounter him for a very long time. I haven't seen him in a very long time. Hmm. That is quite useful. Is Conrad pliable or is he going to be a problem that has to be dealt with? Mildred. Sorry, there was a weather alarm going oh. on in the background. <laughs> I said, I said, is Conrad pliable or is he a problem that has to be dealt with? From my experience, <sighs> people who think they have forever to live are either useful or a problem. I'm beginning to learn. I'm going to look over at Daphne. <laughs> She's looking at both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Correct, yeah. But Peter has no self-awareness, so um, we're fine. Um, and Kay, when you say you know Conrad, is this the kind of knowing that makes him your friend, your enemy, or are you just not sure? Well, it's hard to say currently. Um... But years ago, we knew each other quite well. Um, and you can see Kay is like instantly uncomfortable. Um, we were romantically involved for quite some time. Tori leans in. I think everyone leans in. <laughs> yeah, everyone, even Peter. <laughs> I, le I lean back. <laughs> and that is Runs my, out the is door. <laughs> you, you were involved with a vampire? <laughs> I was involved with Conrad. Conrad's a vampire, right? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to make sure that I was a compete or something. Wait a second. How long has Conrad been a vampire? Conrad has been a vampire since I've known him. Uh, so you were hooking up with a vampire. 
Yes, I found out that I was indeed, as you said. Oh, but you didn't know. No, I didn't for quite a long time. Wow. How does Conrad feed? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? Why would? That's why I asked. Yeah. Uh, I will feed some myself, thank you. Well, I mean, like, what is his favorite flavor sort of thing? No, you're not going to give up the goose? All right. Kay just, Kay just puts on just, like, a very deadpan smile. I mean, that might be helpful information, but all right. Obviously uh, enjoys the flavor of Special K. Mm. Mildred puts up a hand, sort of just like a... <laughs> oh, come on! I can't oh, have amazing. any fun. It was great out of character, but <laughs> <laughs> it's No Tori said that to Mildred. I know. <laughs> it's improper. We are the guest here. But... Well, I can't comment on his rope tying skills because he had me tied up to the chair when he let that wizard loose on me, so uh I kinda interesting. Wouldn't... I wouldn't be too angry if he wasn't in the picture. So, I guess, okay, maybe it's time you reconnect with an old fling. It sounds fortuitous. Peter, really? Can I watch? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is very uncouth. Mildred, what kind of people do you hang out with? The useful kind. And she looks at the the like the group of everyone collected here, <laughs> <laughs> and it's about that time. Yep, Mildred, you get a call that is an almost an emergency blast. Wait, who? Uh, gets Mildred, a sorry, you Daphne. Said Mildred. I said oh, me. Oh, okay. I, I, meant <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait. Are you uh, are you gonna get a switcheroo? Is Alexis suddenly playing Mildred now? <laughs> <laughs> I crossed wires. Um, Mildred holds out her hand to touch you again. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look you like Tori? Touch vamp. <laughs> Let's go watch. <laughs> no. Christ. Uh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we accept you. Anyway. Yes, um, <laughs> yes, you. <are. laughs> no, you get a call. Uh, it's sort of your emergency like line. It's, um, yeah. So, was it was a text? No, it's oh. like an actual call. Oh, oh hold on a second. Oh. I want to walk away. That is loud. Okay. And then pick it up. Boss, um, there's a couple of cop cars. Oh. On premises. Fantastic! <laughs> I'll be right up. Okay. Um, and I think we're gonna cut there for the evening. Oh, fuck! Oh, Luffy came to play! Come on! Oh, no. Seven player game, just saying. Seven player game. <laughs> yeah. Brody, 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 you fucked up, buddy. Oh, no! <laughs> this is gonna be our, ch uh, our I choose violence moment. <laughs> <laughs> the cops are gonna be like come out with your hands up and then we're gonna be like I'm afraid not <laughs> yeah well don't forget the lodge is a hotel so the cops can't come in like guns blazing you know no no they're no. just they have just pulled up there are like sirens blaring like oh they got the sirens yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. but yeah so uh thanks everyone for joining us uh <laughs> I had a blast. Um, so just a reminder on session finishing moves, um, if you feel like you've made a connection with a faction um, as opposed to another faction, you can uh, put one up and another and decrease another by one. So um, if that is the case, that's just a thing we can do to finish things up. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just close out. Um, who you are where we can find you, um, what's going on in your life, uh, where we can find you this week, and um, favorite moment from this evening. Uh, and just because I want to antagonize her, Knox. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, 
yeah, I'm Nox. You can find me on the Twitters at Nox Noctua. I uh, hear about whatever I want. Obviously, a lot of game stuff. Um, uh, I don't think I have any games coming up that I can... Oh, I'm in Dylan uh, Narus' Fun Shots. Uh, but those are being rescheduled due to a number of uh, scheduling conflicts. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited for the systems we're playing there. Um, my favorite moment... Uh, I don't know. My brain is total goop right now. Um, <laughs> my favorite moment is like Mildred's arrival, like all of the like, like basically like black escalades or whatever, <laughs> following her up mm -hmm. the mountain, coming into like the C-shaped driveway of the lodge, like just, just, <laughs> just, uh, just like that visual, uh. Uh, it was really cool. So, yeah, that was my awesome. favorite moment, I think. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, Max. Hi, I'm Max. Uh, can be found at AllMaxD20 on the Twitters. Uh, this is currently the only game I got going right now. And my favorite thing of the night was our new werewolf. I love her so much. Aww. Shit. And I want her to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay, too. Oh, my God. Great. This game is, yeah. And... There, there are no guest stars. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we just keep. <laughs> it's, uh, By the end of this, the overlay is just going to be like eighteen little windows. <laughs> I mean, listen, this my Sundays minute... did free up already, like finally. So. Oh boy! <laughs> if we could well, be back a, at the, we could squeeze the seventh window into that overlay. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can, can do it. We can see, it. perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We need to get Corey in here next, and then Dan, and then, <laughs> Dan, and then get all of Dice Priori in here. Right, right. And then the whole game just becomes opening moves. If I, could, if I could run 18 different Urban Shadows games, I would. That's right. <laughs> um, Matthew. Hey, that's me. I am Matthew Foreman. I am at Matthew W. Foreman on Twitter. I am over at Dice Priori, where I run uh, uh, my baby, the Ghost of the Machine. I also run Storm King Thunder. Follow me on Twitter to catch up on everything that I run, play in, and design. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I just do a lot. And uh, my favorite moment tonight was squaring off with Daphne. I live for that shit. I live for that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I live for it. I love being shitty. I love... <laughs> I love like <laughs> my characters being shitty. Like I just like oh oh live for it. Okay. I love your characters being shitty too. So Thank it's you. All good. I would just like to point out that I'm the team player. Brody is the shittiest play character. He has turned his back on you all, and you all like give him a pass just because I'm grumpy. Hey God, hey God. Brody just pulled like the Colson, so he's going to like give us all. No, what he pulled is from the Watchmen. Brody pulled the um, if you've seen if you've read the Watchmen, the the, the, Osm the Osmandius. Yes, yeah, he he's the, the betrayer. Osmandius move. Yeah, so yeah. That, but he gave all of all of everybody in this room something to fight against together. Right. Meanwhile, I'm Rorschach and I get mistrusted because I have a gravelly voice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's definitely uh... the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Sure. That's it. That's just it. Um, but yeah, definitely isn't uh, your gaslighting. <laughs> um, Maria. Hello, I'm Maria. I can be found on Twitter at Happy Capster, where I like Knox tweet about basically anything I want to. Um, this is also the only game that I have going on right now because my life is in shambles. But um, my favorite moment, gosh. Um, Probably any time Kay and Tori talk to each other because I have a feeling they're going to be best of friends forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> or rather, it's not. Is it? Nope. Hang on. Yes. I got the name right, I think. Never yeah. mind. I don't know. You're good. I'm you're good. Confused. Cool. And cool. our lovely guest for this evening, Alexis. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Alexis. You can find me at Vox Venato on Twitter and on like anywhere. That's yeah, that's me. I I am found on Desperate Ori pretty much all the 
time because <laughs> I basically live there. And when I don't live there, I live here on variant rolls. So, uh, but yeah, I put I put a lot of my time and energy into Dice Priori. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to find out all of the stuff I'm doing and the games that I'm playing. And I just worked on making a Rage Witch today for Dungeons and Dragons 5e. So that's why I was dressed like this and looked like this. But I was like, you know what? But it fits for my Wolfie, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so follow me on Twitter to find out stuff about about all of that, uh, and I'll be posting my Rage Witch on Twitter soon. But my favorite moment, oh my gosh, do I have to pick a moment? You can pick a couple this? or whatever. Listen, listen okay, so I, I loved any time anybody got really uncomfortable because of Tori's presence. <laughs> I second-handedly also really, really, really just enjoyed being a fly on the wall to watch all of that mistrust at the table between the lot of you <laughs> and got to just sit back and stir the shit. Yeah, it was good. <sighs> Nobody's then... body being found is probably Benji's, actually my favorite Benji's. part. Be yeah. Sorry, Benji's body being found is probably say, if my favorite. Brody part. was in that closet. I would have some words. <laughs> Brody's body being found is next episode. Brody's body is coming for sure. Yeah, yeah. coming, coming. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, and then um, I am your master of ceremonies, Taryn Winnie. Um, you can find me on tar uh, at not on tar on Twitter at Tarzan Ozy, um, where I tweet about pretty much just table, tabletop RPGs and the inability to complete sentences, apparently. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you all for joining us this evening. Um, oh, my favorite moment, and you can only find me here. Um, you can't go anywhere else to find me. So I am a ghost otherwise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Uh, we have Sorry. enough Peter. Come on. I know. <laughs> Which no, he's like he's like showing your shot. If the stream's not up, he doesn't exist. Yep. That's right. We much. both here and not. I, I'm like I exist for exactly an hour on <laughs> You are our beer bird. Yes. Would you say that Taryn is a ghost of the machine? Oh, 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 oh. For those that don't know, that's a <laughs> dice priority inside joke. <laughs> that is right. That is right. Um, but yeah, so um, my favorite moment from this evening was um, just getting to stir shit as Mildred. Um, that was a lot of fun. Because um, this system, I mean, like, I don't really get to inhabit an NPC for too long. So, like, playing one for the whole episode was really enjoyable. So um and also Team shit just, stirrers. Yep. <laughs> um also i just i just yeah i like playing with you guys so that's my favorite moment from this evening um but yeah so uh so thank you all for joining us this evening uh it was lovely having you along in chat um join us every sunday as we further along the story of drama and sometimes supernatural stuff um but mostly drama um so if you like what we put out, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, or drop some bits, uh, as well as please support uh, Variant Rolls if you have the money um, on Patreon, or patreon.com slash Variant Rolls. Uh, every little bit helps because um, we're trying to do our part to introduce people to streaming and we do our community games and stuff. And that really just helps go, that helps a long way for us supporting Zoom costs and modules and everything as we sort of try to bring everyone in the community in and sort of introduce people to the lovely world of not normie games, um, as Matthew would say. Uh, but um, we also are wrapping up our last week of Dungeon of the Mad Mage, I believe. Um, as we are moving into more community games with Salt Marsh, um, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming in June to support Pride Month uh, that's getting worked up, um, as well as uh, Thursday nights are um, Monty Cook Games mixtape that we're putting on, uh, which is Cypher and Invisible Sun, and eventually Arcana of the Agents, whenever that comes out. Um, and Saturdays is the lovable and surreal Invisible Sun uh, put on by Dan and an excellent crew. So, um, yes, be gay and do crime, Matthew. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so thank you for joining us this week. Um, yeah, just um, please come back next week. Anybody got anything else? Thank you so much for letting me play. 
Yay, oh my gosh, thank you for so much for coming. Yes. <laughs> this was so great. Yep. That's all that's all I have to say. It's just I had a lot of fun and I really appreciated being able to play with all of you because it was great. Yay! Mm -hmm. Let's play forever. <laughs> yes. One hour feel, stream, let's do it. Feel let's strong. go fight some cops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <'cause laughs> okay. You know what? Out. That'll be applicable. So it'll be Pride Month. We'll fight some cops. Hell we'll... yeah. No cops at Pride. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent the game trying to find an exit and running away. <laughs> <laughs> so uh anyway. but yeah thank you everybody for joining us this week and um yeah i hope to hope you have you next week so bye, bye. bye.